everyone. We are here with my friend Allie Coop, and she is a Bay Area commercial actress and also a theatrical actress. And I met Allie about six years ago, I think, when we were yeah. in college. That sounds that sounds right. Six yeah. years. Yeah. So, um, Allie, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Hi. All right. Well, like Berkeley said, um, I am an actress here in the Bay Area. I do theatrical work as well as a lot of um, commercial stuff, and I've been doing more of that lately. I have been acting since I was a kid, um, just doing like community theater stuff and everything, and then um, went to college, met Berkeley um, through the theater program there, and um, have been doing stuff in front of the camera for about three years now. So, yeah. Nice, nice. All right, we're gonna jump right into this. Um, our first question is from Lucy, and she wanted to know, how did you start your career? Um, <laughs> it's so, it's so interesting act like asking actors that because I feel like a lot of them are like, it is something that I've done since I was a kid. Um, but I would say, um, I really kind of decided I wanted to try to make a living out of being an actor when I graduated high school. Um, and so I went to school and I got a theater degree. Um, I know like that's not every actor's choice. I do know people who just kind of like tried to start acting right out of high school. For me, going to school and like actually getting a degree was really, really beneficial. I don't think I would have really been able to be as far along in my career or really had been the tools to start had I not done that. Um, so personally for me, that's how I kind of got started. And then when I graduated, um, it was just submitting for a lot of auditions. Um, I was like a part of a couple of Facebook groups where different theaters and everything would regularly post different like submissions and what their future projects were and that kind of stuff. So uh, I just started submitting myself for the different theaters in the area that I knew. Um, and then, you know, seeing what's being posted and that kind of stuff. Um, and then yeah, got hired to do a show here in San Francisco that was ongoing. So they offered me a contract for a couple of months. And I think that's kind of what kind of kickstarted my career post college and kind of got me like out into the world. And, um, and I was also being paid. So that helped, <laughs> uh, that helps to make it feel real. And like you are actually student start starting your career. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And then I made a lot of connections through that job as well, just like with the people that I met, um, who were doing their own things. And so I feel like I got a lot more connected that way. And that was kind of the jumping off point. Nice. Nice. Do you want to, um, share a little bit about your experience with that first show that you did in San Francisco? Yeah. Um, so I'm originally from Sacramento um, and I got cast in this show in San Francisco and that's what initially brought me to the Bay Area. And um, so the show, like I said, it was ongoing. It wasn't like a regular show where you have like a couple weeks of a run. It was, we're going to do the same show and you've been hired to be here. I think I was initially hired for like three months, but they had told me like if they liked me, they were going to extend it to like six. Um, so that's initially what happened. And I did the same show for six months and with the same lines and everything, um, which a lot of people ask me about. Um, and it is, it was a very interesting experience because I had never done any live theater with more than a couple weeks of a run. And then you're, you're done and you say goodbye um, and quickly realize that a lot of people have to do much longer runs. Like, especially if you go into like any tours or anything um, through like Broadway or any other types of theaters that take their shows and go on the road, you have to do it for a really long period of time. <clears throat> so that was very interesting and a bit of a learning curve 
Um, people ask me if it was boring doing the same show over and over again. And I would argue if you're doing your job right, then it's not. And if you're with the right people, it's not. Um, because, you know, the audience is always different. Everybody's always in a different place. Mm -hmm. um, so the show should feel fresh the entire time you're in it. Um, and again, if you're working with some really great actors and if you're being a really great scene partner, then it's, it's going to feel fresh and new and fun the entire time. The show was also interesting because um, <laughs> it was like an interactive theater experience. So it wasn't like, I'm up on stage and the audience is out here. It was like the entire building was like our set, kind of like almost like a movie. And all of the characters <clears throat> were blocked to walk around the entire building and still be acting the entire time. And the audience was allowed at any point to just get up from their seats and follow whichever storyline or whichever actor they liked the best. Yeah. So it was like constantly moving. It was like, choose your own adventure. Um, and the audience is like right here and they're allowed mm -hmm. to talk to you and that kind of stuff. Um, so it was like a mix of like, you're almost like a character at Disneyland, but then you still have a script and you're doing a show. Um, so that was also very, very interesting. Um, and I think it kind of like boosted who I am as an actor more because I had to be like in the moment and I had to be a good scene partner and this kind of stuff and like listen to what's going on. But I couldn't ever drop it because people could always like come up to me and they and like people would try to like stump me and ask me all these questions and this kind of stuff. And it was very funny. So you had to be like improvising as your character the entire night. Um, and you had to like pay attention to the audience as well and make sure that, you know, nobody's like causing any problems and trying to break into a room that they're not allowed to go to or whatever. And how do you deal with that in character? Um, so it was very, very interesting. And I think I, I, it definitely helped my improv skills a lot. Um, and it helped me kind of realize, um, I, I guess like how to, how to survive doing a show for that long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I saw that show, and mm -hmm. it was the craziest experience. It was, like, unlike anything I've ever done before, because um, you'd get all dressed up. Like, all the audience members got dressed up, too, because it was, like, yeah. I mean, themes, and then, yeah, I'd just be hanging out, talking to people, and all of a sudden, like, actors would come in, and, like, a scene would start happening. Mm -hmm. and they'd just leave, and you were like, what? I yeah, didn't know what that fight was about. Like, I gotta go. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a lot of it was a lot of fun. It was a super unique experience. I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to do something that will like be similar yeah. to it ever again. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm super thankful for it. That's awesome. Um, so I also know that you've done a lot of commercial work. And mm -hmm. things like that and one of our questions is from Sean and he asked did having a background in theater make it easier for you to get into the commercial industry that is a great question and I would argue yes um when I first kind of got this idea of like maybe I should try to do some more on-camera stuff and I really wasn't sure like what I wanted to focus on if it was going to be like do I want to try to be on tv or in movies or commercials or really what um there's a lot of commercial work in the bay area more so than tv or film so that kind of <laughs> helped things out and making that decision yeah. um but I was a little nervous because I knew that like on camera acting is so different it really is just a completely different game from being in the theater and like in theater, you know, we're told to, you know, like, you know, reach the person in the back of the room, you know, the old lady at the back of the house, make sure she can see you and hear you and see all of your expressions. And then when you're like in front of a camera, it's like right here and you can't do all <laughs> the crazy things because you look like an insane person. Um, and I, I 
already in my regular life, and I'm sure as you can already tell in this video, like I'm a very expressive person. <laughs> I'm already like just super loud and like big expressions and big eyes and everything and very loud laugh and all that good stuff. Um, so I was very nervous that I was not going to translate to on camera very well at all and that I was going to have a really hard time and that I was going to need to like tone everything about me way down. Um, but I feel like commercials are kind of this weird world where you don't need to be super realistic and having kind of a theatrical background and particularly like, um, I don't necessarily consider myself like a musical theater actress, um, but I have done a lot of musicals in the past before. And I know that that's probably where a lot of, uh, your students are coming from. Yeah. And so... I feel like musical theater land and that kind of like heightened sense of energy is almost what they're looking for in commercial auditions. Like be a normal, regular person. Don't like walk in and be like, da, 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 da. Um, but, <laughs> but like they you never do that for an audition. Yeah. Never just as a general rule, don't walk into rooms being like, da, 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 da. <laughs> life tip kids, life tip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> If you take one thing away from this interview, um, but, but what I'm trying to say is like with commercials, they want you to be just like super excited about the product and they want you to be kind of like all in. And so like you still want to, you know, the camera still is right there. You can't be like super big and super crazy expressive mm -hmm. the entire commercial, but I feel like it helped me give like a sense of magic and a sense of wonder about whatever you know this product is like about about this app on my phone that's new Ooh, like you know like it 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 was easier to go from theater into being excited and kind of funneling that that sense of wonder and that magic that you have in a, in a big musical number and just kind of transfer it to how I feel about this product or, you know, whatever it is, but what the script is saying. So there's more wiggle room, I think, to be more expressive and more theatrical uh, in commercials than there are typically in like film or television. Nice. Um, Sean also has a good question, which I feel like is a good follow-up question to that. Um, mm -hmm. He asked if you prefer um, acting in front of the camera or on stage better. Hmm. It's hard because I love different aspects of each of them. Mm. Um, and I think the more I do on camera stuff and the more comfortable I've, I'm getting with it. And after doing it for about three years, I find more and more that I really love about it. But I think theater and, you know, being in front of a live audience is always going to be yeah. where my heart is <laughs> yeah yeah uh so liza asked a question she asked what is your favorite part about acting all of it um, <laughs> <laughs> i love it so so much um it's just what i've always wanted to do i love that in order to be a good actor you have to be a good listener um mm -hmm with yeah. your scene, you know, with your directors, with your scene partners in the middle of a scene, you know, every aspect, it's, it's n just not going to succeed if you're solely focusing on yourself and if you're not actively listening to the people around you. And I think that that's just a really good trait that, that you need to be a good person anyway. Okay. Um, I love that it kind of forces you to be empathetic because you have to open yourself up to different situations and different characters and different relationships that are not going to be prevalent in your own life but then all of a sudden you're plopped into the story where it has to be a reality so I love that it makes you think outside of your way of doing things and yeah. how you were brought up and everything and it really makes you walk in somebody else's shoes for a little bit and see things from somebody else's perspective mm -hmm. so I think I think some of my favorite parts about acting are just that it, I think it really makes you be a better person. I think you have to be open to growth and to mm -hmm. being empathetic and 
knowing and owning your own emotions and what you're going through and listening to other people. I just think it teaches you so many lessons. Like if you want to be a good actor, you have to be committed to all of these things. And that's just going to make you a better person. And I think that's why actors are some of my favorite people to hang out with. <laughs> yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I could go on forever. I love that getting to share a story with an audience. I think that's one of the most you know, powerful tools of connectiveness we have. And it's an honor to be a part of that. I just, I love every aspect of it. I could go on for hours. <laughs> yeah. um, kind of going into what you love about acting, Lucy asked, what are some of the pros and cons about being an actress, about your job? And obviously, no matter what you do, uh, mm -hmm. even if it's something you love, there's going to be those fine line and balance so like what are some of those things yeah um there there definitely are a lot of cons like as much as I love every aspect of acting and I love that this is what I get to do and everything um it is hard I would say the biggest con is the fact that your job is just getting more jobs <laughs> like auditioning is yeah. the actual job itself and when you get hired um to do a gig like that's almost a vacation but really like your day-to-day -day is submitting for auditions is building up your audition material it's uh, printing out sides and memorizing and getting new headshots taken and driving across town to get to that audition on time and and so like that really is your day to day and I, I personally really like auditioning so that's not the worst part of it I would say the hardest thing is balancing that and having that be like this is my actual job However, that's not the bit that pays me. So I have to find some other way to, you know, financially support me doing that. Um, and that can make it very hard to just balance your time and your schedule. So I would say the biggest con um, is that it makes for a stressful schedule. Like you can open up a planner and get a little freaked out about like, you know, fitting in auditions and between your job that has weird hours and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so that is, that is really hard. Um, but, and I don't, I don't think you should get into acting if the pros don't outweigh the cons. Um, yeah, I think some of the best advice somebody ever gave me was if you can imagine yourself doing any other profession and you would be just as happy you would be just as fulfilled as you are when you're acting then choose to do that because i guarantee it'll be easier and i really had to think about it and i was like mm, there's really nothing else <laughs> um so i kept doing this and i'm extremely glad again um but i think you know it is it is hard because i think actors are some of the busiest people i know um who make the least amount of money a lot of the time just because your job is getting a job. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great. Thank you so much, Allie, for sharing and for answering all these questions from the kids. Uh, yeah. Is there any one last piece of advice you'd like to share with them before we sign off? Yeah, I think, um, I think some of the, you know, best things that I've done while I've been kind of building my career since I left college and everything. Um, I would say find your people, like find your tribe. Um, so like Berkeley is one of like my people that I can go to. <laughs> um, and I have people like mentors from college and everything that I still talk to. And when I got hired at that show at the speakeasy, um, I was backstage with these women for like six months um, and I, you know, we got to know each other really, really well. Um, so P what I mean by that is like the people who are going to cheer you on, but are also going to be really honest with you. Um, people who have different skill sets than you, I think is really important. Um, because you're going to find people who are going to be like experts in one field that you know nothing about, and you're going to need 
their help. Um, whether it's like, I met somebody who was like an expert. She like knew Shakespeare, like it was like nothing. And Shakespeare really intimidates me. And I was like, can we do like a crash course? And she was like, yeah, let's do it. And then there's, you know, again, still mentors that I can go to. Um, I would just say like, have a good group of people that you can really, really rely on who are going to push you to do better. And that's really how you survive and how you are going to really make a career in acting. Yeah, that's great. That's great advice. Yeah. Having those people to surround you is so important when you choose yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. thank you, Ali, so much thank for you. hopping on this call and joining us. Uh, we all really appreciate it. And yeah. Um, yeah, we're just really glad that you're able to do this for us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It was so nice of you guys. I hope I didn't babble on too long. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Allie. Yeah, thank you.